Hello, this is student J1036, and I'll be talking about how antibodies are used in blood typing. So first, let's talk about why I wanted to do this experiment. I wanted to do this experiment because I am very interested in the medical field, and it just interests me how about how you can use antibodies to find blood, and uh, it also interests me about the pandemic that's going on and how antibodies were like being used for the vaccine and um, for antibody tests. That's just some extra information. Uh, so moving on to some history, about a hundred years ago and before, they thought everyone had the same blood type, which caused many deaths from blood transfusions, because if one, the donor had a different blood type than the receiver, then the antibodies would fight each other and it could cause serious consequences. Uh, so there's eight different blood types. There's O positive, O negative, A positive, A negative, B positive, B negative, and then there's also AB positive and AB negative. O's, O blood types can give to uh, anyone. They're universal donors. Uh, A blood types can give to A, A bloods and um, AB bloods. And B blood types can give to B bloods and AB blood types. And um, AB blood types can only give to AB blood types, but they can receive from anyone. So moving on to some extra information. Uh, there was just information about how many people out of 100 so 42% out of 100 people are blood type A, uh, that's 6% are, are A negative, and 36% are A positive. Then you go uh, O's, O blood types, they're 44%, and with 7% being A negative, and 37% being A positive. There's B blood types, which are only 10% out of 100, and they're 2% B negative, and 8% uh, B positive. And then there's AB blood types, which are the rarest. They're 4%, and they are 1% of, uh, AB negative and 3% AB positive. Okay, so moving on to my experiment. Some materials I used was blood typing slides. There was four of them. Anti-Sarah A and B. Uh, there was anti-RH factor mixing sticks, synthetic sam blood samples, disposable plastic pipettes, chemical splash goggles, and disposable gloves. So with those materials, I took one drop of synthetic blood and I dropped it into each of the blood typing slides. Then I dropped one of the synthetic A, anti-A into the first slide, and then I dropped one of the synthetic and anti-B into the second slide. And then lastly, I dropped one synthetic anti-RH serum into the third slide. Next, I stirred the samples for 30 seconds. Then I examined the examples in the wells. Lastly, I examined if there was a reaction, and if there was a reaction, then it would sh show, it would give me more information on how to find the blood type. These are just some pictures, and if the, the reactions are like whenever it gets foggy or a different shade of color. And I figured out that in my first sample, they were A positive, and this allows this donor to be able to give the blood types A and A positive and A positive and AB positive. In my second sample, the blood reacted with the, none of the antibodies making the blood type O negative and making it able to give it to every blood type. In the third sample, it reacted the same as the first sample with reacting to anti-A and RH factors, making the blood type A positive. In the fourth sample, it only reacted to anti-B, making it a blood type of B negative. Um, B negative can give blood to B positive, B negative, AB positive, AB negative. And um, some ways that I thought I can improve the project is if I used like different antis and different, like mixed them together to see how that reacted. And I also thought that I could just use more synthetic blood samples. Uh, this project was very interesting and it was really like related to um, World War II and the blood transfusions that they had to use during World War II. So that interested me because I like uh, studying about history and World War II and that. Uh, and in conclusion, this project was about how antibodies were used for blood typing and how they are used for more accurate results. And uh, antibodies are used for many other things, so it was interesting to learn about how they are used for more things than just uh, a couple things. And it has improved the medical system and the medical field a lot because it just it gives so much more potential to find different vaccines, different antibody tests, to find out if you have something or not. It's just a really good tool for the medical field. Thank you.